What's up YouTube and welcome back to another awesome moto vlog. Today I'm heading down to Dobinson's US headquarters down in Miami, Florida. I'm stopped at a rest stop here about two hours left in the drive. We're going to be down there today from 12 to 3 checking out the Dobinson's HQ and we're also going to be there with MBP tuned and I'm going to be getting a tune on the GX today. So I'm super excited to see how that tune is. I'm excited for this event and to see everybody there. So let's get down there and see what it's all about. Alright, so we're officially here at the uh, Dobinson's HQ and Phil just did a tune on the GX so we're gonna go for a little drive around the block he said to just kind of test it out see how it feels let him know if we need to adjust anything we're doing it we did a tune for the premium fuel so I typically run regular but I talked with him about it and I think I've made the decision that I wanted to do the premium fuel tune so Excited to test this out. We're gonna go loop around the block and just get some first opinions. throttle on this thing is a lot smoother way smoother than it was before it was very lungy it just feels so good the shifts are buttery that's awesome right now the tune should be giving a little bit better of an mpg improvement we'll have to do a little bit longer term test on the mpg improvements just because we're not gonna get that here in this short little drive. <laughs> All right, so first impressions are that I love this. This feels really good. I'm excited to drive a little bit more today. So let's go back to the event. One five two zero three one. All right, guys. Uh, I want to say thank you to everybody that showed up. This is our first time to 
doing this, uh, but we're very happy to see the community come to our event and be part of it. Until next time, see ya. Wow, what an awesome event that was. I want to personally thank Dobinson for hosting the event. It was their first time hosting an event like this at their HQ and letting the public in. So they did a shock rebuild class, which was pretty cool that they're offering that. In addition to that, the giveaways were absolutely insane. You just went all out on this and just gave away thousands of dollars worth of stuff. I mean, there was refrigerators, swag, and awnings, all things that I was not expecting to be given away, but was such an awesome thing to see them support the community and also see the community support them. In addition, we should all be thanking Phil for everybody who got a tune. He flew all the way out from California to give everybody that MVP tune that we were looking for. And I personally am so excited to talk a little bit more detail about my experience so far with the tune. For one, I apologize for delaying the output of this video. I wanted to give it a solid two weeks of driving around before I gave a legitimate review on this. That being said, I'm super happy with the tune and it's just gotten better with time. One of the things that Phil mentions is that once you do the tune, everything kind of has to relearn all the different algorithms for the transmission. It all just kind of relearns as you drive. So two weeks was pretty much the perfect time frame for me to be able to drive around and it adjusts to my driving habits so if you're getting an mbp tune just make sure you consider that and give yourself a solid like two weeks for it to learn your driving habits before you make a decision on whether you like the tune or not i'm sure most of you will like it right off the bat because i personally did once i got maybe 10 miles into my drive i could really feel a big difference and i was immediately sold on the tune itself so for the past two weeks i've been spending my time thinking about how do I put into words the things that I like about this tune so that you can better understand if this tune is right for you? So I broke it down into five different topics as to why I love this tune. So topic number one is there's no more gear hunting. I think a lot of you at this point know for the GX470 and probably some other Toyota platforms out there, right at highway cruising speeds, especially when you have cruise control on, there's a lot of gear hunting that's going on. Your downshift, the car's downshifting to get to that set point for your cruise control. Once you're at that set point for a little bit of time, you have a little bit of deceleration that occurs just from being on the road. It wants to downshift again and accelerate aggressively. And that's something that really bothered me and I know it bothers a lot of you. Topic number two is the improved throttle response. One of the things I've noticed is that the tune just keeps the GX in the right gear for the right speed that you're in. So once you hit the throttle, it just seems like there's power available right away at your foot. It's snappy, there's no lag. And that was something I noticed a lot with just the stock configuration is that whenever I would wanna accelerate at any given speed, some speeds, the power was right there and other speeds, it would just take a little bit of lag until it actually you know, figured out what gear it needed to be in. So the best way I can describe it is that feeling when you're driving a manual gearbox, when you keep the vehicle in the right gear based on the speed you're at, so the RPMs are in a situation where you're in that power band, and when you accelerate, the car accelerates immediately and there's no lag. You don't have to downshift and then accelerate. So it feels like it's just in the right gear for the speed in the previous stock configuration for the ECU just didn't do that as well. So that's something that for me, wasn't something I was expecting, but I'm extremely happy with because it feels just more responsive. So topic number three, and it goes kind of hand in hand with this, and it's the linear acceleration. So the linear acceleration, the way I can describe that is that you can just feel that the power linearly is accelerating. You don't get that aggressive uh, lunge feeling with the previous throttle response that I think some of you have if you're driving your vehicles on trails, you're noticing this. When you're trying to just ease into it and go up an incline or go up over an obstacle, it wants to kind of lunge forward on you. So it's great for accelerating from a stop because it's real smooth, but it's also going to be a benefit on the trail when you're trying to go over obstacles slowly and have that nice smooth response. You're not going to have that lunginess that the stock tune has, and it's just going to give you a better all driving experience. So topic number four is something that I didn't expect, and it is an increase in the fuel efficiency. So my brain was just thinking, well, tunes, performance, that equates to uh, worse fuel economy. And I was okay with that. But actually what's cool about this tune is it's not a performance tune. It is more of an efficiency tune and just setting up the vehicle to drive more efficient. And in doing that, you get an efficiency in your MPG. So over the two week span of driving, it slowly kept going up. And I noticed that the MPG went up in my GX by about two MPG, which was actually pretty surprising it's definitely not an insane amount and no reason to just go get the tune for two mpg improvement but hey you know what 
a little bit of extra fuel efficiency there is something I'm not going to complain about. So the fifth and final reason that I like this tune is not an overly aggressive tune. I wouldn't have gotten this tune if I thought it was going to be that way just because I think just like me, some of you are concerned about reliability with the tune and I didn't want to decrease the reliability of my GX because that's frankly at the end of the day why a lot of us have them. So I didn't want to do anything that would hinder the reliability of my GX and have all sorts of maintenance issues down the road. So one of the things that I really like about this tune is it's not going for high performance, it's just going for drivability. Yes, if you want to, you can have Phil tune your GX for performance and have a little bit more aggressiveness to the tune, but I particularly wanted more drivability and he has a tune for that, which is what we have installed here on the GX. That is something that was so crucial to me to not compromise reliability. And that is my fifth reason and probably the most important reason why I actually did get the tune. So at the end of the day, would I recommend this tune for any of you with the GX or frankly, anybody with the Toyota platform? I would say yes. I would recommend this tune because of all those five things that I just mentioned, but also for the fact that it's $425, which to me, pretty good deal for what you're getting. I spent way more than that on all sorts of other ridiculous accessories, like the two Baja Designs fog lights I have, like the two of those were $500. Like two lights were more expensive than this tune, which to me, when you put it in the perspective of cost that way, it's actually pretty affordable and not the most expensive thing that you're going to have on your vehicle. So, so I definitely recommend it. You see a noticeable improvement in your vehicle's driving for a very affordable price. So I wanted to make sure, so I wanted to make sure that I announced that I paid full price for the tune just as much as you would at any of these tuning events that Phil's going to be around the country doing. The reason I paid full price and I wanted to make sure that I paid full price was because I wanted to make sure that I had no bias in this review. So for anybody who is skeptical on these tunes and had some questions about it, hopefully I answered those questions. If I didn't fully answer all those details, drop a comment down below so that I can respond to you and give you a little bit more insight onto maybe a particular question that you have. Dobinson's, Phil, Chris, you guys knocked it out of the park. It was such an awesome event. I'm very happy with my tune and it was so cool to be down there and network and meet all these new people. At this point, all I can do is count down the days to the next one. So if you're interested in getting your Toyota MBP tuned, head over to Instagram and check out Phil on MBP tuned. You can see where he's going to be flying around the country to do tuning events so you can just show up in person and get your vehicle tuned. Lastly, I want to do a selfish plug on the Awesome Auto Molly panels. For those who aren't aware, I've been manufacturing my own Molly panels and those are available on awesomeauto.tv. It's going to replace that old worn out net in the back of your GX470 and give you a nice clean laser cut solution. So if you're interested in picking up one of those Molly panels, head on over to awesomeauto.tv to pick up yours. All right, so that does it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.